Hello, Physics 111 students. Here are the sample problems answers for the final exam. So, uh, if you weren't looking for the answers, you got the wrong video, but if not, we're going to get started. So, one, a symmetric plank is held in a horizontal position, as shown. Find the x component, this arrow, r sub x, for the reaction force of the hinge. Let's look at what we've let's look at what we've got. We have the hinge on the left hand side, making it a lot easier for us, as you probably read in the notes. 50 degree angle, tension for uh, a wire with tension connecting one pole to our uh, horizontal plank or uh, yeah, our, uh, symmetrical plank, and uh, creating a triangle in the process, which is going to be very helpful. 0 0.5 meters from uh, this pole to this mark, again, which we can identify with this length of this side of a triangle, 2 meters for the entire horizontal plank, and a weight of 50 newtons bearing down on this plank. So, this is going to help us a lot. So, to get us on the right track, I'm going to show you how I solved it. Okay, so before you ever do anything, make sure you do a sketch, make sure you write down the information. Try to do it as neatly as possible, make sure you have the values down, make sure you can read your own values. Uh, that's happened before. I've uh, I, I do have messy handwriting. If I do uh, write too fast, uh, or uh, I forget to put a decimal place, then my calculations are going to be completely off. So, take your time with the drawing. It's going to pay off. Uh, so, scratch scratch this. I, I've, I have some stuff on here that I need to change. I've got to change, and I'll, I'll just let you know along the way. Uh, I, I tried a couple methods. I found this to be the fastest and easiest method. So, um, we'll get started uh, working this. So we know that torque is equal to force times distance, and what I'm trying to find is our net torque. Uh, so what we're given, again, as I showed you, is the same 2 meters, 0.5 meters, 50 newton weight bearing down, your hinge, and your 50 degree angle with tension in this string. Now, as you can see, I actually started writing in uh, answers to uh, some of the problems I'm actually working into with these little blanks, and, uh, and I started adding on stuff to my diagram, which, for me, helps me, I'm a visual learner, so it helps me a lot to be able to start uh, writing stuff in and seeing how stuff connects. So if you are a visual learner, or if you just want a better picture of where you're going with this, uh, definitely try this out. Um, usually use pencil uh, for, the, uh, for the most part when drawing these diagrams, because if you mess up or you write in a calculation that you thought was right, later down the road find it's wrong, you, it's best to try to erase it instead of having to draw out the diagram again, especially when there's a lot of information given. So as we saw in the notes, I again applied uh, one of the techniques that we used, uh, a force times distance equals torque, and I used it in a, a chart format. So uh, we are given our forces. Um, our one force is 50 newtons, and that's applied in a negative y direction. Uh, so I put that in our first uh, force uh, category times our distance. We know this 50 newtons is applied over a 2 meter distance, so we're just going to plug in 2 meters. We're going to calculate the final torque. That'll be a negative 100 newtons times meters. Remember the uh, units. That's important. And uh, the, here's one of the things that I forgot to erase, but um, I still came out with the correct answer. It doesn't matter if you do have it, but it's a little repetitive. Um, I actually calculated weight 1 here and weight 2 here, but you can actually cancel out weight 1. We'll just pretend weight 1 isn't there. And uh, what I'm actually going to do instead, actually, let's see if I can, I can mark it out so it doesn't distract you or anything. Let's see, here we go. Oh, well, you don't, you don't want this. Um, oh, sorry about that. Okay, I'm just going to highlight this one because this is the one you want to use. You're looking for weight 2, which I marked here. Okay, so here is your weight 2. And what we're going to do is we're going to look for weight 2 in this direction because we're given the 0.5 meters. This is going to help a lot right here, 0.5 meters. So that's what that's uh, how we're going to find out uh, our force in our positive y direction, okay? So, let's see if I can get this. Oh, whoa. Cool. Just found a new feature, okay. So, uh, okay. We're going to plug this in. We get the negative 100 newtons times meters, and we're going to set up an equation to solve for this, this weight 2, okay? We're given the negative 50, we multiply by the 2, equals the negative 100 newtons times meters, then we actually don't know weight, uh, sorry, we don't know weight 2, but uh, I'm not going to 
spoil that, I'm going to leave that there. We don't know way 2, I actually already wrote that in, but we don't know way 2, we, need to know, uh, we know the distance, which is 0.5 meters, but we don't know the torque. So actually what's going to happen is you're, you're not going to know your weight and you're not going to know your torque, okay? So you're actually going to wonder how, that, how this is actually going to work, right? So uh, to calculate net torque, and that's what, that's what we're looking for. To solve this problem, we need to know net torque. So we're actually going to set, and we know that when we're solving for net torque, the torques on this side have got to equal to zero. So we can actually use the force times distance plus force times distance because force times distance is equal to torque. So it's just like just putting torque in here and torque in here. Instead, we're just replacing it with the formula for torque, which uh, that's all right because they're equal to each other. So force times distance plus force times distance is equal to zero because that's what we that's how we calculate net torque. Okay, so we put on our negative fifty times two point which we don't have to put in since we already calculated on this side. So that can take out uh, some stress. We can actually already put in negative one hundred plus. This will be actually weight two. I, I messed up. I put R sub X in. Um, that was one of my one of my tries. But it's funny because all I had to do is just replace it with weight two um, to get the answer. So this is actually weight two multiplied by zero point five is equal to uh, zero. And at zero point five, I'm getting is because it's the distance right here. Okay. So we're gonna set that equal to zero, and we're just gonna solve straight mathematics. Add hundred divided by point five. Uh, this is actually gonna be W two. So W two is equal to 200 newtons. So we plug that in. We put 200 newtons here. We multiply by point, uh, point 0.5 and we get 100 newton meters. Okay? So that that's uh, that's our uh, torque on that side. Uh, so now that we have our torque on this side, 100 newton meters, and we have our force on this side, 200, right? We can actually put it here. We'll put in 200 newtons, and we know that this is 50, right? This is your y, y, uh, this is your x component, and this is your y component. So we have a y component, we don't have our x component, and we do not have the tension in this. But remember how to solve. If we have tension, how do you get your y component and your x component? All you do is you plug in, uh, well, well, if you do have your, uh, okay, let's pretend that we do have our tension, and we're looking for the y component, the x component. In our notes, uh, we always solve it. See if I can bring up a text box. Maybe I can. Here you go. Maybe. Let's see if we're lucky. Put in a text box. I don't even know. That's not it. Oh, hold on. Is this it? Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, we're lucky. Here we go. We got a text box. Okay. So to solve for this, we kn we know that to solve uh, for your y component, x component, we take t, which is the tension. So I'm gonna put that as our t, and we're gonna multiply it. And what I'll do is I'll make a little multiplication symbol. It is mu multiplied by every time anything happens in the y-axis. Let's say something happens in the y-axis. We always use sine theta, which I'm just going to indicate with parentheses. If something happens in the x-axis, it's always cosine theta. Okay. So we're gonna. Uh, t, actually what I'll do is I'll do make this as a multiplication symbol. So T multiplied by, we're looking for, oh, well, well we're already, um, if we're looking for the Y component, we're going to plug in sine theta. If we're looking for the X component, it's going to be cosine theta. But since we already have the Y component, we can actually just plug it in as if we were solving for tension or as if we were solving for our X component. Uh, actually, what, 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 actually what, let's, let's do it step by step. We're going to solve for tension first, okay? So we're solving for tension, so we can plug in tension multiplied by uh, our cosine, right? And it's going to, actually, I'm sorry, our sine, which, because it's our y-axis, sine, and it's going to be 50 degrees, okay? So 50 degrees, right, is equal to, and remember, this is what gives us our y component, because we don't know tension, we're just going to plug in our y component here, which is our 200 newtons, right? So we're just going to solve for t. t will then equal. Oh, let's see, did I write it down? Let's see, did I write it down? Yeah, here we go. Okay, so t, which this is supposed to be, uh, this is one of my mistakes. I put it f instead, but t will actually equal 130.5 newtons. So I'll just put that in there. 130.5 newtons. Okay. So there's your 135.5 newtons. 
multiplied uh, by your cosine of 50 and this is key okay so probably don't see wh where I got this from at the moment but this is your tension so I'm just gonna make a little text box here let's see if I can do that so this is equal to your tension okay this remember that cosine right here actually oh that's the text box let's make that a square this right no nope that's not it okay this is your cosine 50 Remember that cosine only works with the x-axis, so this is where we're solving for your x component. This is your final step. You know your tension, and remember to solve for tension. I'll put it in here. To solve for tension, maybe for to solve for your x component, knowing your tension and your angle. Let's see, yeah, there you go. We can just plug in the formula. So we know that the tension is 130.5 now. We multiply that by our x component, right? So that's going to be cosine. 50, no, well, for too many parentheses, but I'll just I'll just play with that. Cosine 50, and that's going to be equal to uh, your final answer, which is your x component. And your x component is therefore going to be 84 newtons. It'll probably come out to like 83.3, I mean 83.6 or uh, so forth, or 83.8 or 83.9. You're just going to round up, but that's going to give you your 84 newtons. So that's basically just problem one. Um, I hope this helps you, and happy studying.